Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have another go, and just hope. Hopefully, it'll be a bit more consistent. So, um, what was that? Ten minutes, fifteen minutes. I think fifteen minutes of um, painting the silver. So we've now got the silver all over our kit. It needs to be done. I noticed there's a belt and some kind of like um, hand guards. I suppose is the word to call them, um, that is still to be done. So we've still got a bit of work to do on those. So the hands are, if we have a look at this picture here, the hands are kind of like a white. So I'm just going to go with apothecary white again and do the do the wrapping on the hands. And then the other one's just inside, but you can, oh. Now you can kind of see I've gone over. So let's quickly just get our wraith bone and touch that up. I need a tiny bit. There we go. So we got that band that we'll be able to do. Obviously not now. And then I think for the belt, we'll just use snake bite leather. So we're going to go in with snake bite leather. Looks like my stream's a bit more stable now, so sorry about sorry about that. Um, for the the second one, I will delete the video. It's, that was a pointless video. Um, so what I basically was doing in that video was literally just doing the metal work. Did I have done feet with that one? I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it's just the metal work. So we've got. Strap going around that leg. And strap going around this leg. Not easy to get to, admittedly. Oh, I've missed a bit there as well. It's Mr. Metal on his other knee from the inside. So that needs metal. And then the belt. There. And the belt at the front. Oh, whoops. Uh, there we go. Try not to get over the metal part. Not the, certainly not the easiest one to get in. And this is going to be the case with a lot of these miniatures because they're pre-assembled. We're going to find it hard to get in, but that's fine. Um, so that's the brown done. Okay, so I think the metal works pretty much dry. Um, just need to go back to that initial picture. Let's try and do this eye. So... It's an interesting kind of metal that they're using. It's like a... The shield's kind of like a brown. No, I'm gonna keep it, re I'm gonna keep it really simple. So the darker colors will be Basilic and grey. The lighter colours will be apothecary white. And we'll just stick with those. So let's let's start with apothecary white. And then we'll do the metal for those parts. Okay, so if we start with again it doesn't matter if I go. The important thing is when I go over 
with the basilic and grey, I just make sure I touch No, I'm just gonna put that on that bit. And these bits as well. And all it'll do, this apothecary white, is just dull down the the kind of the sheen, I suppose, of of, of the um, of the metal, or else it'll be way too bright. He's also got. Okay, I might have to touch that up. Um, mm -hmm. I think that's it in terms of the bright parts. I think we'll have that as bright as well. And then everything else is going to be basilicon grey. Yep. Uh, Pacific and Grey. Right, looks like we've got a stable live stream, which is good. So at least you'll be able to see the end. Sorry, there's a bit missed out from from the video. The live stream of me doing the metal. So all of these... are going to be placed on with Pacific and Grey. too much paint on those bits and not enough on these bits <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna get in there right let's do the shield I think that's the, the main chunk of the metal for other than it's full armor of course um, but this should really now help I'm gonna put the the gray kind of inside there as well to help Contrast up. Uh, I'm going to go in the grey here as well because we will sort that out in a minute. Back of the shield as well, obviously. Uh, the the actual knee pads are going to be slightly different, so let's let's just go straight into the inner part of this. I'm trying as best I can, just to do the inner part. Whoa! Need just shakes going on there. And underneath that is the same again. So we go basilic and grey yet again. Uh, try and get underneath here without <laughs> making too much of a mess. And then that kind of like sash coming down, that's also going to be this color as well. So just go straight in with that. That's the problem. When, when the lid doesn't stay open, obviously all the uh, paint just drips out of it. So you end up having to keep redoing it. It's really quite annoying. There we go. Oh, that's a bit pulled in, isn't it? Good. Oh well. Uh, then we've got to go into here, so let's... Uh, 
Do that one. And then of course, I just go in a little bit. Do, do, do. Not too bad. I do want to kind of get that edge done, just just show the detail. But ultimately, I don't want to go over the um, the fire effect that I've done. Because that would be a bit of a disaster. Okay, we are getting there. Slowly but surely. Turn on now. Okay, that's the uh, the wing part's done. And now this part. So at the back there as well. Just literally shove it in there as best I can. I mean, obviously you got bits there as well, but it's gonna be hard. And then we've got these down here. We need to to do as well. Like that. Sword is next, I think. Oh, hang on. Let's, let's get in there first. Cool. Uh, sword. Where's the sword gone? There it is. Yeah, I certainly would call it the easiest miniature to paint, but my word, it's fun. How's he looking? Now that metal's lost its plastic look. That's looking nice. Yep, I'm happy with that. And now the kind of knee pads. Well, first of all, let's just do that very, very quickly. We just need to grab some apothecary white to go in and just do this little bit of the, um, little bit of the, the wrapping of the hand over that side. Uh, let's do those knee pads. So we're kind of looking at a more brown. I'm going to use um, dunes, Agaras dunes for that. Agaras dunes going over metallic to make it like a kind of semi dark brown metal almost like a bronze not not a full gold like I did on Corvash's um when you if you see that video I did it on his um that's really nice okay well now we need to do the eye so let's get the yellow and orange again And 
aware of time now, so I'm trying to push through along. It's the yellow and then the orange. Yeah. Oh, look good. Did you paint the whole thing yellow? Then went over tips with orange once dry. No. So um, if you see the first part, uh, Kevin, um, I, you put the yellow on and then you go with the orange and then you blend them. Because uh, these are contrast paints, you've got to blend them while they're wet. Uh, so you, no, that wasn't done once it was dry. Uh, let's do the black. Templar. I'm going to do the bits on the arms and the shoulders next to give that effect of kind of like lava ash coming down. So Gotcha, I'll be back and watch that part. Cool. Yeah, yeah, uh, watch, yeah, this is the second part, so it might be worth watching the first part first. And then naturally, because, oops, because it, uh, contrast is kind of transparent, the kind of orange will hopefully come through. That's what I'm hoping. Very wary of this part because <laughs> all our work with fire could be undone with a slight misstroke of the paintbrush, which is quite a daunting prospect. I think what I'll do is just okay. Right, let's go to the next bit, which is going to be the shoulders doing the same kind of thing. Hang on, let's wash my paintbrush, I think it's... Now the question is, do you need to do this bit? Certainly not. <laughs> um, it looked pretty cool just as as is, but I'm trying to match the uh, the card art as best as I can. Now obviously I didn't go tips of the wings in black, not in this case, but that's something else that could be done. Oh, 
I'm quite happy with that, it's quite cool. Let's do a little bit of black on some of these bits. Uh oh. Oh, live stream, come on. Oh, yeah, no worries. So you're watching a morning live stream. Is this still streaming? That says excellent condition. Uh, oh, you're kidding me. No. You know what? I think we've lost the stream again. So hopefully you are listening to this. Um, the last effects I'm going to do... If it does record it, which I hope it does. Is we're going to go in here with black. And then we're going to go back in there with white. And then in there with yellow. So I want to make the eyes kind of black with a yellow uh, eyeball, as it were. Um, and that's the plan. But he's technically pretty much finished. Need to do some um, hard coat on the gems, as per normal. But our kit's finished. I'll uh, post some pictures on social media um, of the finished. We've also got a. I've noticed it. Just before I go, just noticed something quite major. Get the orange. If you look. There's quite a lot of white underneath one of those horns. So I'm going to go in and just touch that up. So it's just checking any white parts of the miniature. That's better. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, thanks for watching. That was Arquette. Painted with contrast paints. Um, we've got to sort this out as well. This eye, so basically the eyes, the eyes of the shield, the eyes of the actual Arquette himself. Uh, they need to be brighter. They need to pop a little bit more. So I need to sort them out. So the plan will be to do that. A bit more white here, uh, white. A bit more yellow here. I think just let that pop a little bit more. But other than that, he's pretty much done. So thanks for watching, and that was fun.